Hey guys, so I'm doing this um mostly drugstore tutorial, like 95% drugstore tutorial on this beautiful pinup look. So if you guys want to see how I did it, stay tuned. Bye guys. So we're gonna start off by priming our eyelids. Um, I actually ran out of my Elf One Dollar Eye Primer. That's how much I use it. So this is basically I only have a couple high ends left, but you'll see in my um my empties video that I used up all of my Elf primer. So um, if that's what you have, definitely use that because I really love that primer. It's gonna be so easy to achieve. Trust me. So. I am going to prime my eyelids as well as my eyebrows. Since I'm using a powder product, um, it just will help to adhere better. So I'm still testing out what works good for my eyebrows, but so far I've been using this um, Prestige eyebrow kit and it has like a light color and a dark color so I've just been using the light color to kind of fill in my brows and um yeah and that's been working pretty good for me so I just take that and then I just do the same way as I used to do it before um just fill it in and I'm used to my eyebrows being pretty dark so yeah my hair out of my face. So I'm just filling in where my hairs are kind of sparse at. I don't like the big, you know, boxy kind of eyebrows. I don't do that. I just kind of follow my natural, um, my natural brow. So I do that until the tail end and then I use the darker powder for the tail ends. And I don't know, I don't I haven't heard much about this line, but I do see it at um Ulta, you know, like the drugstore side of Ulta. It's usually near like where the Kardashian collection is. That's where I always see it, so in case you were wondering. So yeah, that's just one eyebrow done and the other one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other one. So that's what my eyebrows look like so far. I think I'm going to fill this one in a little bit more. And if you mess up, it's okay because we are just going to clean it up anyway. And this is just like, um, I think a Coastal Scents brush or something that I got on a, on a Hot Look sale. You'll see this um, set with the red handles if you ever catch Hot Look. Oh, look sales. So I'm going to clean up my eyebrows using this e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer Palette. And it's in light. And it just comes with four different color concealers. It's kind of like, kind of goes um, cool, warm, cool, warm. So I usually use the, the warm colors for myself. And I'm just using this concealer brush by BH Cosmetics. Um, I'm actually going to use this one off the palette. And I really... Um, just clean up the bottom not the top that much unless like I'm I really need to get my brows in so you just follow natural shape of your brows and I like to blend it with my finger so I kind of um, cleans it up and is, and brightens it at the same time I like to use a concealer um like one or two shades lighter than my skin tone because it works kind of double duty So we're going for like um, of course like a pinupy inspired look. So it's gonna be very very simple. Um, I'm actually gonna start off with a bronzer for my eyes, um, and just the NYC Smooth Skin Setting Bronzer, and we'll see how it works. Um, so yeah, first I'm gonna go with a big fluffy brush. Let's put that in the crease. And 
just keep working it in until you get the intensity you want. I think this is going to be good enough for the look that I'm going for. I thought it was going to be too light, but I like how it's, it's kind of giving off that kind of reddish brown on my eyes. It doesn't come off like that on my face when I use it, but it looks really nice. It's a crease color. So just keep building up the intensity as intense or as not intense as you want it. And then the next thing I'm going to use is this Wet n Wild Single Eyeshadow in Brulee. It is very loved. I have a hit pan. So I'm going to actually use this um, under the eyebrow as well as on my actual lid. So it's just going to brighten up the eyebrow area a little bit more. We're going to blend this to look seamless in a second. I love this. It's just a perfect matte cream color. You can't go wrong. It's like $1.99 when you find it in the drugstore or I think I find mine usually at Buy the Love. So you just blend it so those two, so all those colors just marry nicely so, yeah. so we're going to line our eyes but first I'm, I'm going to move on to the face um, I'm going to use the Maybelline Baby Skin um, Instant Pore Eraser looks like this so I just first I just tap that where my pores are just to help fill them in get my nose and then get some and spread it everywhere else. I love this. A little bit of this goes a long way. It does have that silicone-y kind of feeling. So it just spreads over your skin really nicely. So that's that. And then I'm going to use the Revlon Color Stay in Warm Golden. So I'm just going to dot that over my face. And then just with this um, round top kabuki brush that I got from um, Pink Stellaros Cosmetics, you just work really fast to um, to blend this in since it's... um. It sets kind of fast. If you want, you can work with like half your face at a time, but if you just work fast, fat, a little bit faster than usual, you should be fine. I really love this. It doesn't, it's not like completely matte and it's not like crazy dewy that you look all greasy. Like I have the L'Oreal Lumi and I feel like it just makes me look super greasy. So, yeah. Yeah, that's that. And I did not get much sleep, so we are going to put some concealer on. And this is the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles Treatment Concealer. And I use the color Brighten. It is, um, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I like this because it is the opposite undertone as me. It's um, a pink undertone where I'm yellow. So I'm just going to put that under the eyes in that kind of, you know, triangular shape. And it's just going to help brighten that area. I put it on my chin, down my nose, and across my forehead. So I'm just going to use that same brush we used for our foundation to blend that out. I'm just going to tap this because I don't want to um, kind of lose that effect. If you want, you can, act, you can go in with your fingers to make sure there aren't any harsh lines.
So make sure you blend that out nicely. We're gonna set this with a translucent powder in a second. So that's that. So then this translucent powder, I actually like it a lot. I have the e.l.f. HD powder, which I love too, but I'm running out. So I have this, this is probably one of the first translucent powders I ever bought. It is the, it's a L'Oreal Paris translucent powder. I do believe you can still find this, but I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush by Sonia Kashuk. And you can just tap some into the lid. Just a little bit at a time. You don't want to waste any product and you tap off any excess and then you just press it onto that concealer. You have to set this concealer because one time I didn't set it and um, I tried to take pictures afterwards and it gives really bad kind of flashback with your camera. So you have to set it to kind of prevent that. Okay. So that is the light. And then whatever's extra you can just kind of dust over the rest of your face just to kind of lock it all in. So yeah. And that is that. And then with that same NYC bronzer in Sunny you can just bronze up your face this bronzer lasts so long like I swear this is one of the first bronzers I ever bought and I use it almost I want to say like 75% of the time that I wear makeup unless I'm going somewhere like fancy and I use my more you know higher end bronzers or I just want to switch it up but this one is my favorite it's matte and it's really like soft and it's only $2.99 I think I got it like CVS and CVS always has um or Rite Aid they always have like 40% off sales so you can't you can't lose with that so yeah that is that and then I use the clean stipple brush to make sure it is nice and blended. Make sure you get your forehead, especially if you have a big head like me. So that's that. And for blush, I like to use this um, Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman multitask brush. I know some, I mean, it is multitask for a reason. Like, you can use it for contouring because it has this point on it. Some people I hear even can use it for liquid foundation. I haven't tried that yet, but I feel like this is perfect for blush, so that is what I'm going to use it for today. And I am going to use the NYX um, blush in Pitched. And it's just this pretty pink, peachy pink blush with kind of gold shimmers in it. Um, the gold shimmers don't really show up, you know, that bad on your face or anything, but it's good. It's really pretty. So I just want to look kind of flush. I'm not a big, strong kind of blush person. I just like it to look really natural. I love how some girls look in those, like, purple and lavender blushes, but me... I just like to keep it natural. Kind of like, even like peaches and oranges. They're really pretty. They can look natural. So just blend that. The clean stipple brush again. So I have somewhere the e.l.f. facial whip to highlight my cheeks, but I can't seem to find it. So my next alternative is this NYX Single Eyeshadow in Hollywood. Um, it is just like a white. It's just kind of shimmer comes off so I'm just going to use that really lightly on the tops of my cheeks just to kind of give it that nice glow this sparkle so yeah I'm sure you can see that so then we are going to finally line our eyes I'm going to use the NYX Collection Noir Liquid Black Liner and it's like this um, I think it was like $4. It's 
So it's like this really thin point. And the trick to doing to doing this is you have to kind of look down and work slowly. Like if you're not used to it, just work slowly and in short strokes. So you have to look down, especially if you have curly like eyelashes. Mine aren't that curly, but sometimes they get in the way. So I kind of push them down a little bit and just kind of... And you don't have to work, you know, all the way. I usually start in the middle. Don't know why, or like close to the middle. And then you follow the guide from your lower lash line. And it like, kind of shows you like what would be most flattering on you. So you could kind of like draw, like physically draw a line from your lower lash line up as far as you want. And this is pretty dramatic for me more than usual because we're going for that and a be kind of look so I would say almost have it touch your eyebrows but of course don't because that's not flattering so that's what that looks like and then now you can just finish the rest now you can just let that dry so I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so one thing I just realized that I forgot to do is um, set my eyebrows. So I just used this $1 um, clear wet gloss lash and brow mascara by Elf. It's just a dollar. You just comb it through. Just put some in place and has them stay all day so yeah it's basically gel for your eyebrows so the lashes I'm going to use today they are these um kind of we are going to say no brand lashes because this is from a company that I will not promote but yeah these um as you can see they you know they f they're kind of thicker at the end so they kind of will you know accentuate your cat eye so they're also shorter so what I'm gonna do I'm going to pile on the mascara so that you can see my kind of like inner lashes and then I'm gonna add these lashes so let's see how this works so I'm gonna use my um, L'Oreal telescopic clean definition mascara I need to get a new one. I don't think they have the clean definition anymore, but I want to get the regular telescopic because I have never seen my eyelashes longer than how they are with this mascara. So yeah, that is really good. You guys have seen me use it a ton of times. I found it on clearance. That's why I think they don't make it anymore. I found it on clearance at Walmart for like two forty nine, which doesn't necessarily mean that they're not you know, in use anymore, but yeah. So just keep loading it on because I don't want my inner lashes to get lost. Actually, before I put the lashes on, I am going to tight line. Um, I am going to use Perversion by Urban Decay, but you can use whatever black eyeliner you have and really make your lashes look fuller since I'm just using like a lengthening mascara so yeah that's that so I'm still not the best at putting on false eyelashes but I've been wearing them more often because I have the time to actually put them on so I'm getting a bit more comfortable with them everyone raves about duo but I like lash grip better duo I don't know if I have like 
an allergen or allergy to it, but it really makes my eyes water and hurt. I mean, this one does too, but not as bad. Like, I have to find, I want to try the NYX latex free or something free lash glue. So, yeah. So, I have a really, I have a like a nice pointy pair of tweezers, and then you just pull them off the packaging. I like to kind of wrap them around my finger so that they have that nice curve to them. And then you kind of hold it with the tweezers. Right here in the, okay. And then you just run a bead of, you get a little bead of glue out and you run it on the lash band. And you get you be a little bit more generous on the ends because those are the the parts that then that tend to um kind of lift first. And then you just wait for it to get tacky. And these these are just tricky because usual um like full length lashes you can just pop them in the center and kind of fix them. This these you kind of gotta pop them on the end and then kind of fix them. So they're just a little bit different, but. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be fine. So, yeah, you just wait for them to get tacky. So you look down, and you kind of... Pop them on. what they look like so what I like to do on um, my kiss lashes came with this little pink tool and I like to get in there and squeeze it together to make sure everything looks seamless I don't like to, I mean, I know you can add mascara to kind of, you know, bind those two together, but I don't like to the first time you use your eyelashes or the first couple of times because I kind of like to reuse my eyelashes and I don't want to ruin them, you know, you, no matter how much they cost, so, yeah. Or what company that you rather not say the name they came from. So that is what that looks like. So I'm going to put the other lash on. And I'm okay, right so there. that's how the eyes look with both the lashes on. Let me zoom you in a little bit. So yeah. So it's really more dramatic than what I'm used to, but it's really fun. So I also went in with the liquid liner and went over the glue. The glue could dry, could dry a little bit white, so yeah. Okay, so I have the NYX Nude on Nude palette, which if you don't want to fork out the money for the, um, the Naked palettes, this is like a nice little sister to that. So it has all of your neutral colors, your dark smokies, some, you know, fun, not fun colors, but it's anything you would need for neutral or smoky eye. So that's that. I think I'm going to take this dark kind of chocolatey brown here and smudge that under there. It's a little bit darker than the bronzer, so. The only thing about this that I don't like is that it has a bit of fallout. So, I'm not sure how that's going to work. Let me see what I have. Okay. So, I'm just going to use one of these proactive things, so. I don't get any more fallout, so I'm just going to put that underneath there. Just so it doesn't get on my face. This is why I like doing my eyeshadow before my face, just in case there's any kind of fallout, you can you not worry about it. Let's move you over. Oh, okay. And I'm just going to do the outer half. It kind of just makes your eyes look 
really nice and it gives it that kind of like hazelnutty shape in my opinion anyway. So I'm going to take that same mascara and put it on my lower lashes. Not a lot, I just because I want to kind of keep that area nice and bright. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to take my um, NYX Wonder Pencil and let's see what color. Do these have colors? I'm not sure. In medium. I should have got it in light, but I got it in medium and I'm going to put that in my waterline. Just to brighten it up. For this pinup look, I would even use even a white to make it look even more dramatic and fun. But this is this is cool. I don't really know where my white pencil is right now. So yeah. There's that. And then for the fun part. Unfortunately, I looked through my whole collection and I cannot find... I do not have a drugstore matte red version, matte red lipstick. Um, you can use any red lipstick that you like and love, but with red lipsticks, you have to make sure you use a red lip liner. And what I like to use is the NYX um, lip liner pencil in hot red. It's the perfect red to go with any kind of red lip color. So since I have such small lips, my top lip is basically non-existent I kind of you know I have to line them and I don't overline them so I won't look like a crazy person when I want to go matte I make sure my my lips are dry so yeah I am going to use a lipstick with this, but if you want, if you don't have a matte red, you can fill your lips in with this color and that will be your matte red. But I am going to use a lipstick. It's a little bit longer lasting than a pencil. Well, I never use a pencil to fill in my lips, so don't judge me. And I know people have suggested for me to overline like my top lip, but that's just, that's just not me. Like, I think it just looks too fake, too phony, and it's just, like, my eyes are pretty dramatic, so I, I don't want to go too much with my lips. That's what that looks like. And I'm going to use um, Ruby Woo by MAG. Um, you can definitely use Ruby Woo. It's, I don't have Ruby Woo. I hear it's almost like a dupe or, you know, any red that you have. Even if you want to go with a glossy red. I have a nice reddish orange that I use pretty often by NYX. It's called Arrows. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would see that, that lip color on me. But I kind of wanted to go with a classic matte red lip. And this you have to work kind of slowly because it is it's a retro matte I hear that it's um creamier than the regular the original matte formula but I don't know I just don't think anyone can go wrong with this color And if you see, like, I think mine isn't perfect, I would just go in with the NYX red and kind of clean it up. So that is what that looks like. I'm just going to blot a little bit more of this. And this, if you can get your hands on any of the Retro Matte collection, like Matte is totally in. Or even this um, Lion Crime Velveteen, it dries matte and I mean, it's just, 
it's amazing. I probably should have used this. It's, it's a more, I don't know. It's just, reds is just amazing. Like, I feel like it makes your teeth instantly look white. Especially if it's like a blue, blue vase kind of red. Um, so yeah. And then I would just say, just set it all. Just to make sure it all sits. Um, I like the e.l.f. Mist and Set. The only thing is, the spray is pretty strong. So I do have this in my kit. I even have this in my kit because it has aloe, green tea, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E. It's almost done. This is probably the second one that I've gone through. And I also bought one for my kit, but I put it inside an, a, a mini Urban Decay um, spray because those just have a nicer spray. But if you um, hold it out far enough, it, it'll be really nice. You know what, I'm looking at myself, and I think I just need to contour my nose a little bit. So I'm just going to use a fluffy, fluffy brush. And just a little bit of contour. And spray it from far, and you'll get that nice mist. So, yeah. So that is everything for today. Um... I hope you guys like my new hair. I'm really loving it. Let me zoom you out a little bit more. So yeah, that's what the look looks like. I love it. Um, just I don't do this very often. I like red lips. It makes it look like I actually have some lips. So yeah, and these lashes, I don't use these often either. But on camera, they don't look that bad. So hopefully in real life, people aren't like, where is that girl going? But yeah, so my accessories, um, I just got this necklace. You guys probably see it all the time, and I've gotten a couple questions about it. It's just from a beauty supply store in Philly. Um, I got this cute knuckle ring from um, a mall near me. It was only like $2.99, but I love it. I use it all the time. Um, of course, my Pandora, which is full. And then this is um, an Alex... Alex Nani bracelet and my earrings came from Target they were like $5.99 or something like that so yeah that's everything that I'm wearing today and my hair I was gonna vlog my hair like a story but uh yeah that was crazy and but it came out nice and I love it so Anyways, um, I hope you guys like this drugstore only tutorial. I know I've been using a little bit of high ends lately, but I, I've been just accumulating a lot of high ends and I kind of, you know, been experimenting, but I do have a lot of drugstore too, so I can kind of make this like a nice little series, do drugstore high end, drugstore high end, or whatever you guys want to see. As you guys can see, I have basically, um, right here, it is the... The Urban Decay Mother Load palette. It has basically every eyeshadow in the Urban Decay normal collection. I think like 68 eyeshadows or something like that. So that's why I do a lot of Urban Decay um, tutorials because I have the eyeshadows to use. And then over here is um, their eyeliner set, which has every single eyeliner, all 40 eyeliners. And I just keep that for decoration, but I keep them all here. So, um, Kind of like if I have them back there, I won't use them. But since I have them here, I do use them. So that's why you see a lot of high end because I got a lot of stuff for Christmas. If you've seen my Christmas haul, and I also have these um, Makeup Forever Aqua Rouge lip gloss, lipstick, lip gloss, and lip pencils to go with them. So I want to start experimenting with these. If you guys want to see anything with them, um, I am legit rambling or if you guys want to see a little Tory tour of this area here I have makeup everywhere uh, if you follow me on Instagram you see the messes I make during filming so yeah that gets a little crazy but anyways enough with the rambling until next time subscribe to my channel like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram all the info will be below so yeah. Hey guys, Bye. so I figured I'd do a quick outfit of the day to go with my makeup tutorial. Um, so this is just simple. I'm just wearing this um, black cami, a black cardigan that you can find anywhere. I think I got mine at Marshalls. And these tan and black striped pants that I don't remember. Where did I get these from? Foreman Mills. Foreman Mills. So they were probably like only like $14.99 or something like that. So 
and it's actually icy and snowy out so I'm just gonna wear a pair of black and tan polo boots nothing fancy um so yeah this, this look that I like I like the stripes they kind of like make it look nice and curvy um so yeah they're a little bit big on me but that is okay so that is what I'm wearing today if you like these let me know outfit of the days so bye guys <laughs>